Yeah, we're well, tonight. What kind of Bible are you going to be reading? Be re reading from that King James Version oh, Bible. Praise God. Man. Going on 401 years here amen. next year. Amen. amen. Somebody say amen for that. Amen. amen. You know, I, I was, praise God, talking to a brother the other day, brother in the Lord, and he said, Brother Mike, he said, I've, I've heard you on the radio and heard some of your CDs. He said, you preach it right. He said, but one thing that bothers me, and I said, okay. Uh -oh. He said, you're always talking about the King James Version Bible. Come on. He said, so you're telling me, amen to God, if I don't read the King James Bible, I'm going to hell. I said, I've never said that. I said, if you read other versions, they're going to lead you away from the truth. Come on. Hallelujah. And the King James Version Bible is the truth. Thing you say, Brother Mike, you say, how do you know that? Well, research it. Go back and study it. Praise God. Hallelujah. You want us to always give you the answers. Well, why don't you dig in for it yourself and see, on, praise amen. God. Hallelujah. He said, well, I heard that King James was a homosexual. I said, no, he wasn't. Hallelujah. And they say that. A bunch of them said that. They said the King James was a homosexual. Yeah. But he wasn't. Hallelujah. I thank God he was obedient to translate it into the English language. Because the Catholic Church did not want people to read it. Come on. Just like the Catholic Church today is keeping people, amen to God, in bondage. Worshiping idols and Marys and saints and all that. I worship Jesus Christ. Amen. For a nation that once was one nation under God. Come on. Indivisible. You know, this nation has gone after other gods. Amen. Oh, amen. I wish somebody say amen. Oh, that's the truth. Amen. You know, we've allowed the Muslim faith to come in. Praise come on. God. We've allowed Allah to come in and sit kind of equally with Jesus. Come on. Well, I'm sorry. I don't agree with that. Come on. Mr. President, I'm sorry. You ain't got a backbone to stand up to the Muslim people. Well, come I'll on. tell the Muslims, the God you serve is going to get you into hell. Come on. Amen. Hallelujah. Because he's going to be there too. Because Allah really is nothing more than the devil. Come on. Woo! That went over well. Hallelujah. But I still love my Muslim people because you know what? God died for them too. Yes, He did. He laid His life down at Calvary so they could be saved as well as everybody else in this world. The Bible says, Whosoever yeah. shall call upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. Yes, so instead of hating them and condemning them, I dislike what they're teaching and ministering. Yeah. But I still have a love in my heart for those people. Amen. Because praise God, if they called out to Jesus Christ, He would save them. Amen. Praise God, He would not discriminate against them. He would not hold nothing against them because they were lost in sin, and that's why He's there. Praise Come God on. to save the lost. Amen. He said He came to seek and to save. That which was lost. Amen? Come on. Amen. He said he even left the 99 yeah. righteous to go after the one. Amen. Little lost slam. And I'll tell you one thing. Why don't you give God a hand clap of praise for that? Because Amen. you and me were that one little lost lamb. Amen. You and me were that one little lost lamb that got out of the fold and started going our own way. Hallelujah. But he left them in the fold, praise God, and come on out and said, I'm going to go find him because I love him. I love her, praise God. So we're going tonight to 1 Thessalonians chapter 2, beginning in verse 1. And tonight's message, I'll tell you how this came about. This message came about through a conversation with me and my wife. Just an in-general conversation, nothing deep. We didn't get too deep to where we couldn't dig out, praise God. We didn't go into the heavenly realms, praise God, to where, hallelujah to God, we saw ourselves in white cloaks and doing this and that. We just got into a modern day conversation about our walk with Jesus. And you know, today in the church, everything just, hallelujah, they've made it so simple, praise God. You don't even have to call upon His name to get saved anymore. They've made it to where all you got to do is come in and figure it on a card out and drop it in the slot box and praise God, you're saved. Yeah. They, they make it where you can come in and live like a devil and Hello. still go to heaven. Uh-oh. Now see, the Bible still says, praise God, that no sin will enter into heaven. Oh. I'm sorry that's not preached from our, our pulpits today. Very little is it preached, just like you don't hear the message of the cross. Come on. But see, there's so much of a condemnation spirit in the body of Christ. Well, you can't go to heaven because you look like this. Come on. You can't go to heaven because you sound like this, or you're wearing this, or you're that. Let me tell you something. God don't judge you by what you do on the outside. It's in here. Amen? Woo! Mercy. 
Because, see, from the heart it begins. Yeah. Amen to God. Because, see, you can have an old prostitute walk in here in an old short skirt, no top on, be lost as a needle in a haystack, but if Jesus got a hold of her life, praise God, He would straighten out the inside, and when the inside straightened out, the outside will change. Come on. Because right. God looks at the heart. Yeah. Praise God. Where man looks at the outward man. Come on. And see, we as Christians have got to get our eyes off the outward man and on the person's soul. We've got to get our eyes upon, praise God, if they're living right for God. Amen? Come on. Hallelujah. We've got to turn this around. We've got to show the same love, praise God, that Jesus showed for us hanging on the cross. Amen. Because, amen to God, that is the greatest picture of love you will ever see. The greatest picture of love is not giving somebody roses, not giving them a card, not taking them to dinner, but the greatest form of unconditional degree cause of the God pain love is when Jesus laid His life down freely on amen. that altar of the cross, praise God, and He paid the debt of sin for you and me so that we can be set free. Come on. Hallelujah. Amen. And that should have got you excited right there. Yeah. But for some reason today, that don't make people excited anymore. Come on. Amen to God. Well, we're going to get Amen. into that tonight. My message ain't going to, it may not be one of these running the aisle screaming type messages, but it's going to be one that's going to make you say, Lord, can I do better? Can I change? Can I do more of what you want me to do? Amen to God. Come because on. we need to have a self-examination of self every now and then. Bro. Well, let me take that back. We need to do it every day. We need to examine ourselves in the Lord every day to make sure we're walking after the way the Lord wants us to walk. Obeying His Word. Living, Come praise on. God, in His will. Living a lifestyle of holiness. Praise God. Amen? Hallelujah. I will try not to keep you too long, but I can't promise what the Lord will do. Amen? Amen. 1 Thessalonians chapter 2, beginning in verse 1. And if you're able, let's stand to your feet for the reading of God's Word. Just out of respect to the Lord. Amen? If you can, that's great. If you can't, that's okay. The Bible says, 1 Thessalonians 2, 1, For yourselves, brethren, know our entrance in unto you, that it was not in vain. But even after that we had suffered before and were shamefully entreated, as ye know at Philippi, we were bold in our God to speak unto you the gospel of God with much contention. For our exhortation was not of deceit, nor of uncleanness, nor of guile, but as we were allowed of God to be put in trust with the gospel, even so we speak, not as pleasing men, but God, which trieth our hearts. Amen? Amen. For neither at any time use we flattering words, as ye know, nor a cloak of covetousness, God is witness. Nor of men sought we glory, neither of you nor yet of others, when we might have been burdensome as the apostles of Christ. But we were gentle among you, even as a nurse cherishes her children. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. So being affectionately desirous of you, we were willing to have imparted unto you, not the gospel of God only, but also our own souls, because ye were dear unto us. But ye remember, brethren, our labor and travail, for labor night and day, because we would not be chargeable unto any of you, we preach unto you the gospel of God. Somebody say amen for that. Amen. amen. For that. Verse 10. Ye are witnesses in God also, how holy and justly and unblameably we have behaved ourselves among you that believe. As ye know how we have exhorted and comforted and charged ye, every one of you as a father doeth his children, that ye would walk, what? Worthy of God, who hath called you unto his kingdom and glory. Amen. Amen. For this cause also we thank you. Also thank we God without ceasing, because when ye received the word of God which ye heard of us, ye received it not as the word of men, but as it is in truth, the word of God, which effectually worketh also in you that believe. Hallelujah. For ye, brethren, became followers of the churches of God, which in Judea are in Christ Jesus. For ye also have suffered things of your own countrymen, even as they have of the Jews, who both killed the Lord Jesus, excuse me, and their prophets, and have persecuted us, and they please not God, and are contrary to all men. Verse 16. Forbidding us to speak to the Gentiles, that they might be saved, for to fill up their sins always, for the wrath has come upon them to the uttermost. Hallelujah. We see right here in these 16 verses of Scripture, praise God, Paul is talking here, praise God, to the church. 
about basically giving hallelujah a, a description about themselves as they are believers how but hey, praise God, I think this chapter right here shows us how we ought to be and how we ought to treat others, how we ought to walk, praise God, how we ought to do what God has called us to do, amen? Come on. Hallelujah. So I want to talk to you about a few minutes just on a simple subject. Hallelujah. Have you ever heard this comment? Is your life worthy of imitation? Amen. Is your life worthy of imitation? When people look at you that claim to have... Amen to God, Jesus in your life. Can they say, praise God, I'd like to be like that Christian, praise God, who stands up for Jesus. Amen. I'm all. Who's not ashamed of the gospel. Who's not ashamed to tell people about the Lord and what He did. Who will, praise God, take a stand for the right and shun the wrong. Hallelujah. Are you one of those, praise God, that your life is worthy of imitation, praise God, because you've dedicated your life 100% to Jesus, amen, to God. Amen. I don't mean worshiping the person, but I mean, praise God, you say, man, I'd like to be like that brother or sister who take a stand for Jesus, praise God, who loves their brothers and sisters, who genuinely cares for them, Brother Billy, who will go the extra mile if need be. Yeah. That's what we need to do. Is your life worthy of imitation? Father, we come before you now in the wonderful name of Jesus. We thank you, Lord, for your word. Hallelujah. We thank you that the word, hallelujah, builds our faith. Hallelujah. It sets us free, Lord. It gives us victory over the devil. Hallelujah. We thank you for the opportunity to minister tonight. Hide me always behind the cross, God. May I decrease as you increase, Lord, in every area, dear God, of my life. And Lord, I pray that you would cover this service with the blood of Jesus. Amen. We command the devil to leave out. Hallelujah. We pray, Lord, you touch those through the airways, through YouTube and Facebook and whatever avenue, Lord God, you have to use. Minister to their hearts. For we ask it all in Jesus' name. And everybody say it with me. Amen. Amen, amen and amen. amen. Praise God. Hallelujah. I'm going to welcome everybody out there by Facebook and YouTube and uh, praise God, Voice of the Lord, Radio, Preaching the Truth Broadcast, Hallelujah, CDs, Amen to God. We welcome you in the name of Jesus. We amen. love you. We appreciate you. Amen to God. And we just pray that something said tonight through song or through word will be a blessing to you in the name of Jesus. And everybody said Amen. 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 Hallelujah. Is your life worthy of imitation? I want you to ask yourself that just for a moment. Just take a moment and just say, Am I somebody, praise God, that when people look at my life, and I can say when I get up, praise God, and I sing or minister or just basically talk to people about Jesus, that I'm the real deal? Come on. Amen. Can you have do, can you think of one person who says, praise God, that brother or sister, praise God, is the actual real deal? They don't go to church, amen to God, and put on a facade, wearing a mask, amen to God, just Sunday morning, oh. Sunday night, Wednesday night, or whatever night you have service, praise God. And then all throughout the week, they're out here cussing, fussing, drinking, amen to oh. God, flipping people off, amen to God, living like a devil, amen to God, thinking nobody knows. But I tell you, you can fool people most of the time, but you can't fool God any time, amen? amen. Hallelujah, because the all-knowing, amen to God, I of God is watching over everything you and me do on a daily basis, every oh. second, every minute, every hour, every day. Amen. Hallelujah. And it's time we start living right. Praise God. Amen. Come on. So me and Laura was talking to them. I'm going to get back to that. She works with a woman at the bank. And the woman, I, I don't know, has she been to church before? 